In the last section, we saw how an issue could be broken into narrower parts through the use of a task list. In this section, we're going to see how several related issues can be grouped together into a milestone. A milestone represents a major improvement or feature or the completion of a major part of a project. In this example, we have a major phase of the project that we are interested in trying to complete. We've already created several issues that need to be completed in order to reach this milestone, so we can group them together by creating a milestone. I will click on the Milestone button here, and right now there isn't one, so I'll click on the New Milestone button. I will give it a title. And I'll give a brief description. If I want to, I can have a due date, but in this particular case, I'm not going to do that. So I will just click on the Create Milestone button. I can now go back to the issues and find the ones that belong as a part of this milestone. I'll start with this one. In order to add it to the milestone, I can simply go over to the milestone section and click that I want to add it to that milestone. So I will go ahead and do this for the other two issues that belong within this milestone. You can see that it's been noted that it was added to the milestone. If I now go back to the Milestone tab and click on the milestone, I see the three things grouped together within this milestone. As I look at the milestone over time, I'll see a progress bar that indicates what fraction of the issues have been completed in that milestone. So this is a way to track things that are related and to see what kind of progress you're making. At completing them. It's also a useful thing in a case like this where we have actually a lot of issues. As you can see, these issues are tagged to sort of separate them out, but this is a way that I can group together just the issues that need to be done by a particular deadline to complete a particular part of the project. In this example, I've completed two of the three tasks in the milestone, which I can see from the progress bar. I can also see by comparing the open and closed issues in the list here. If I finish the last issue and close it, then return to the milestone, I see that the milestone is 100% complete. One of the things that I can do is to go ahead and close the milestone. Once I've close the milestone, it no longer shows in the list of open milestones, but it still remains in the list of closed milestones.